Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this time you've given us to open your word and discover who you are. Thank you that you don't leave us in the dark about who you are and what you've done in the world. But you have revealed yourself and your will through the Bible, your sacred word to us. Lord, we need your wisdom as we read your words. Help us discern the truth of this text. Help us not rely on our own understanding. Thank you, God, for the clarity, encouragement, and hope your words bring. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 9, entitled The Branch from Jess. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jess. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of might, the Spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes, or decide by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness to shash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and the little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the cobra's den, and the young child will put its hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So for the open question number one, it was said to meditate as I listened to the song Hero by Mariah Carey. So this song was basically pertaining to the hero of your life, which is you that the hero lies within yourself. So, if I were to interpret it, I would like to uh, quote the lyrics in the song. There is a hero when you look inside your heart. So, you are your own hero. Eh? And in your heart, you are the only one who knows what you truly desire, diba? Right? So, it would be up to you if those desires would you make them um achieved would you um chase for it and make all your dreams come true also another lyrics in the song there's an answer when you reach into your soul so in this life, we are faced with many uncertainties because only God knows what lies ahead in our lives. So, there would be times na um, susubukin yung uh, paninindigan natin. Eh. There are times na susubukin yung pasensya, ganyan, because of uh, many problems na uh, cha-challenge sa atin. And in that, we could be, find it, we could uh, find it difficult to answer every thing or every questions that we have in our minds. But then, as what was stated in the song, there's an answer kung titingnan mo lang yung soul mo. So, it basically means that there would be always an answer if you seek God into your life. And also, it stated there that the sorrow that you know will melt away. So, basically, ganun nga. Kasi, if you 
put yourself closer to God and then there would be a person eh even hindi siya hindi mo siya uh, personal na nakaka-interact through God if you let all your uh, emotions, your feelings, your problems to God your sorrow will me- will melt away kasi yung burden ng dina- yung burden na kaakibat ng dinadala mong problema is that malilift away mo siya kay God and God would always be there to support you and give you strength for you to carry on diba? there's a hero that comes along with the strength to carry on and you cast your fears your fears aside and you know you can survive so yun pa rin so related pa rin to kay God to yourself seeking God kasi nga we all know that God would never put us in a situation na hindi niya alam na hindi natin kayang um lagpasan he would never put us in a situation na alam niyang magiging dehado tayo instead he would put us in a situation na ma-challenge ma-challenge tayo pero alam niya na lalabanan natin yun. Kasi we know in ourselves and God knows that we are strong and we have faith in Him. Kaya, alam niya na malalagpasan natin yun. Another interpretation to this uh, lyrics, when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong. And you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. Another one, Lord knows Dreams are hard to follow, but don't let anyone tear them away. So, life is a long journey. Tayo mga estudyante, since nag-aaral tayo, of course, ang gusto natin is makatapos, di ba? Makatapos, makagraduate, makakuha ng magandang trabaho so that we can help our parents in terms of um, daily expenditures, di ba? And we also want to give back to our parents for their uh, for the sacrifices, for each of the sacrifices they make in order to support our studies. So, tayo mga estudyante, when we face many adver- adversities in times of academics, Sobrang daming requirements, sabay-sabay. Um, sobrang daming binibigay, like bulk yung binibigay na activities. And then, syempre, madami tayong academic loads, hindi lang naman isang subject yan. So, nagpapatong-patong, which, um, which challenges us, which falters our faith na baka hindi ko to kaya, baka hindi ko to kayang pagsabay, pagsabay-sabayin, baka hindi ko maipas on time. But then, it's up to you. Um, it solely relies on you eh. Kasi if ganun ang thinking mo, then, baka nga hindi mo maipas on time yung requirements mo. But, even though you are faced with many academic loads and your mindset is kaya ko to kaya ko tong tapusin lahat as long as i plan out every detail that i would make as long as i make a schedule on what should i prioritize first then that's what god wanted us the song basically pertains to how God wanted us to believe in ourselves. How God wanted to know that our faith would never quiver in just small things. And ini impart din dito na through um, trying to dig our spirituality, through exercising our spirituality by putting ourselves closer to God then we could um we could surpass every trials that may come in our lives 
Who was your hero when you are 10 years old? Was he or she fictional or real? What was your hero able to do that you cannot do? Una, sino muna yung hero ko? Siyempre, yung hero ko, yung mga magulang ko. Ano sila? Real. Ano yung mga bagay na hindi ko kayang gawin, na kayang gawin ng hero ko? Siyempre, yung mga bagay na hindi ko kayang gawin, na kayang gawin ng hero ko, is una, yung... Siyempre, magsakripisyo, umunawa, tsaka mag... mag mag-solve ng mga problema. Siyempre, mga bata pa tayo. Bata pa ko nun, bata pa tayo. Hindi pa natin alam kung paano mag, kung paano umunawan ng mga bagay, kung paano magsakripisyo sa isang bagay, at kung paano i... kung paano natin i... isosolve yung isang problema. Yun yung mga bagay na kayang gawin ng mga... Ini, ng mga hero ko na hindi ko kayang gawin. So, the question number one... What does it mean that the Spirit of the Lord will rest on the branch? First, two, three. See, two kings, two, fifteen. What supernatural knowledge, ability, or motivation do you see? So, my answer is, And the Spirit of the Lord shall repet, re, uh, rest upon him. The words throw us at once back upon the memories of the past. And four words upon the hopes of the future. It was the Spirit of the Lord that had made men true heroes and judges in the days of old. It was in the Spirit of the Lord descending on Jesus of Nazareth and abiding on Him. John 1.33 That men were taught to see the token that He was Christ of God. And His case, the Spirit was to give more than the heroic daring which had the characterized of Jephthah and Samson. The future king was to be David and Solomon in one, um, preeminent chiefly as a prince of uh, peace. In the wisdom and counsel which had uh, been glory of the latter, wisdom in his highest form as the implying comprehensions of the secret thing to God, understanding as the sagacity which this uh, discerned that the right thing to do that the uh, right word to say. In all human relationships, this forms the first link in the chain of supernatural gifts. So, meron tanong kanina doon na um, what the supernatural knowledge? So, he supernatural endowment, endowment through the spirit of Jehovah, which the qualities of perfect ruler. The charismata are grouped in the three pairs when we add the separate mentions of the uh, Spirit of Jehovah at the head of the list. We may perhaps find here the first suggestion of the seven Spirit of the God. In reality, however, the three pairs unfold different aspects of the Spirit of Jehovah. Um, the, uh, the first pair of virtues are intellectual. The second is practical, and the third is religious. What will his reign be like? So verse 3b, base 3b to 5 is sinasabi na huwag ka manghusga based lang sa nakikita mo or naririnig mo. Um, manghusga ka with your righteousness um, para magkaroon ng magandang criticism and para wala ka rin masaktan na ibang tao. Lagi din daw, sabi rin doon is righteousness and your own faithfulness is is a belt of him. Parang ganon. Tapos, parang sinasabi doon para sa akin kasi sinasabi doon na lagi mong suotin yung righteousness and faithfulness para magkaroon ng better na judgment sa mga bagay para walang masaktan na ibang tao or maapakan. Dig number 3. Verses 6 to 9 figuratively show the peaceful kingdom. What types of people or situations may Isaiah have in mind? What does this scene tell you about human relationships under the rule of this king and about the cause and event of his reign? So, basahin ko lang ulit yung verses 6 to 9. The wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, and the calf and the lion and the yearling together. And the little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear. 
their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the fox. The infant will play near the cobra's den, and the young child will put its hand into the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters covered, cover the sea. So, una is sa verse 9. Yung all on my whole on all my holy mountain for the earth. Sin ko yun yung house or yung church. House of the Lord or yung church. Tapos yung mga bees or yung mga prey, mga animals, tayo yun as humans. And yung young child or yung little child is si Jesus Christ. So, tayo as humans, syempre, may mga kasalanan tayo. And, yung symbol ng baby na yun, na little child, is si Jesus. So, feeling ko, kung yung effect ng little child dun sa bees, ay yung effect sa atin ng gospels, as humans, yung effect nun sa puso natin. And, Dahil doon, pwede natin protektahan yung house of the Lord or house of God, which is yung church. Isa sa mga pwedeng example is yung sa Acts 9, si Saul, si Saul bago siya maging Paul, nag-create siya ng gulo sa church. So, after, no, after niya bilang isang beast to the church, na-transform siya into Paul and at the end, he was able to establish a lot of things in our church. Romans 15 concludes that Paul teaching that those strong in faith ought to sacrifice their own desire to live in harmony with other believers. Paul shows that God always planned to welcome the Gentile nations and his mission to introduce Gentile to the message of salvation by faith in our Christ. The Lord was used as a banner to gather and make the people be as one, while in verse 32, it was the Lord himself that gathers all the people. So, for the reflection part number 3, it was asked that if I see myself at this time more like a wolf or a lamb. So, according to the scripture I read earlier, Isaiah chapter 11 verse 6, it was stated there that, the wolf will live with the lamb. So, if we try to unpack this phrase, kasi ang wolf and the lamb, they are not in harmonious relationship with each other because the wolf can be, no, it's not can be, the wolf is aggressive and the lamb is gentle or, or calm. Reason why Lambs or sheep are almost always the animal creatures beside God or beside Jesus Christ in every evangelical representations, diba? So, I see myself as the lamb because I never, I never, I was, I am never the one to engage in, what do you call that, in arguments. Hindi ako yung tipo ng tao na. I would impose myself as aggressive. Instead, I would be the one to initiate the initiate on straightening out the arguments between two people. Ganyan. And sabi dito sa question, what does it mean for the two of you that God does not change wolves into a sheep or vice versa? but transforms them so they can live in peace with one another. So, as what I've said nga earlier, yung wolves, they are very aggressive and the lambs are very gentle or calm. So, we can interpret this as yung wolf, it represents a an aggressive person. And then, the other one, it's a composed person. So, ganito yan. So, kapag ka pinagsama yung dalawang tao na yon sa isang lugar or sa isang bahay. We can almost um, we can almost uh, 
think na there would be unbalanced relationship uh, between them kasi yung isa sobrang uh, violent or aggressive yung isa naman um, malumanay. So, even though walang inst- even though hindi magkaroon ng instances na magkakaproblema yung dalawa, there would always be an, a conflict in terms of um, ano ba tawag doon? In terms of mind, uh, a psychological behi- psychological uh, aspect, psychological aspect wherein, of course, there would uh, there would always be a person na hindi matotolerate yung ganong behavior, so masasaktan, ganyan. Yun, dito na nga pumapasok yung in- insensitivity ng isang tao, di ba? So, what God tries to imply this is yung aggressive person hindi kayang baguhin yun ni God. Hindi yun kayang baguhin ni God into someone na calm or composed and vice versa. Kasi nga, those traits are in their nature. So, mahirap tanggalin yun. Mahirap baguhin yun kasi yun na yung kinalakhan ng isang tao or nung wolf and the lamb. So, what God tries to do this is Iba balance niya yung dalawang tao in a way na itra-transform niya yung dalawang tao na yon para itatransform niya into someone na iba balance magbabalance magcha-try to adapt with each others um to try to adapt with each others behavior ganyan so that they can live in peace and they can have a harmonious relationship with each other. Tingin ko kung si Jesus Christ yung mag reign sa atin, I think magiging prosperous yung lugar natin, yung, ban- yung buong mundo. Kasi siya yung king of kings eh. Siya yung, kumbaga, entitled na the one talaga para i-lead yung buong mundo. And I think kasi sa panahon ngayon, eh, marami tayong mga kurakot na kings. Yun yung mga nasa politics. And if si Jesus Christ ang mauupo doon, magkakaroon ng tama or yung the one talaga na gagawa ng mabuti and I think magiging prosperous ang buong mundo. Let's bow our head and feel the presence of God. Lord, nagpupulit ng papasalamat po kami sa panibagong araw at sa panibagong chances na inyong pinagkakalaob sa bawat isa. Lord, humihingi rin po ako ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng mga kasalanan ang aming nagagawa. Dilo po ng aming emosyon, nakakapag-isip, nakakapag, nakakagawa at nakakapagsalita kami ng hindi maganda sa aming kapwa. Lord, hinihingi ko po na bigyan niyo pa po ng lakas ng loob, talino, ang bawat isa upang magamit po namin sa aming pag-aaral. Lord, humihingi rin po ako ng protection um, upang maging safe up po kami sa araw-araw. And... Um, Nawa po ang mga taong nakakatanas ng depression is nawa po itulungan niyo po sila upang malagpasan ang lahat ng iyon. Ang lahat po ng ito, hinihiling ko po sa magamit sa Panginoon Yesus na kami tatapagkita. Amen.